फेस एंड बॉडी स्किन फ्रेंडली सोप gentlemen it is an absolute pleasure having you all here with us today and welcome to a spectacular evening i am all here some response from your side shall set this event open everybody together one huge round of applause for all of us <laughs> together everyone louder okay well let me introduce myself to all of you i am jinu nazir and i am speaking on bigs on uh, on the behalf of pegasus event production company and you all know about them pegasus has been into the event industry into the entertainment scene for the last 20 years and well my association with pegasus has been um, clearly personal and very very professional i must say i've had the privilege of hosting a couple of great events for team pegasus and trust me this is going to be one among them and the fourth edition of mrs south india mrs south india is a national beauty pageant from the house of pegasus we can vouch for the fact that it is one of the very few beauty pageants beauty platforms available for married women it is definitely a key for all of them to restart rebuilding their dreams their career their passion and lot more trust me so the contestants for the pageant underwent 3 days online and 2 days offline grooming prior to the finale right here at liberidian cochin it helped the contestants definite weakness they are all more confident and now this is going to be a tough fight this is going to be a parade of talent poise grace and beauty so we need somebody to pick the right people up before i invite the judgment panel thanking all our sponsors once again our main title partner being manapuram finance limited and dq powered by bps lake show dq face and body skin friendly soap natural schools of makeup co partner sajoth resorts kalpana international absolute ias academy just shine family fitness sunny pains ut world fashion connect our crown partner parka jewels our outdoor media partner aishwarya outdoor media our online media partner ut tv unique times europe times times new our hair and makeup partner natural schools of makeup our fashion partner being the jerry institute of fashion technology our light and sound partner udaya sound our camera partner green media and this is definitely an event by the one and only pegasus global private limited also cause in association with shiny justin the founder of scars a special thanks to all the media who cooperated and supported throughout the staff and crew of Lee Meridian our makeup crew natural schools of makeup production crew akshay and go light and sound crew oh there are sounds our camera and technical crew green media last but not the least the entire pegasus family and shiny justin and now to the wonderful panel of judges it's time for me to invite them and introduce them to all of you ladies and gentlemen Judge number one for the evening. She is an Indian actress and model who made her acting debut in 2016 with the Malayalam film Darwinday Parinamam. She is one of the top six finalists of Miss 
India South. She was one of the top five finalists as Miss Diva 2018. Let's welcome the ever gorgeous Hanna Raji Koshi to this beautiful event, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Hanna. Please have a seat. Next up, Mr. C.K. Kumarave. Let's have a huge round of applause for him as well. He's the CEO and co-founder of Groom India Salon and Spa Private Limited, the brand that owns India's number one salon chain, Naturals. The brand now has 550 plus salons across India and has been hailed as a game changer at the salon and franchising industry. Under his guidance, Natural Salon has empowered 300 plus women and become entrepreneurs in the past 16 years. Moving on, let's welcome the beautiful Shivani Rai to this auspicious evening. She's a fashion influencer and model who's also a senior software engineer by profession, have been a part of fashion and modeling industry for the past four years. She has worked for various popular brands and also feature in ad commercials. She was recently seen featured in Hindu music video, Archal. She had won titles like Miss South India 2020, second runner up and Mrs. India Global 2021 South. And finally, we have Deepa Lal, welcome. Deepa Lal is a model and fashion influencer who has been in the field of modeling for the past three years. She is a psychologist by profession who also does social services. Deepa Lal had won the Manapuram Mrs. South India 2020 and she was also the first runner up of, of Mrs. India Global 2021. Let's welcome the ever graceful Deepa Lal to this colorful evening. Well, she is to add more color, trust me. Are you all ready? Some noise for the contestants, people. Everyone together, one huge round of applause, please. They are 17 in numbers and they are all across from the southern part of India. They are well-spoken, talented, beautiful, intelligent, all set to fight for the coveted title, Mrs. South India, everyone. So this is going to be the first round. The first round is the self-introduction and the question round. They will take the ramp. They'll self-introduce them to all of us and uh, they'll face the judge with one question and then shall we proceed to the next round, which is afterwards. So right now, it is going to be the 17 beautiful girls and the ram, their self-introduction and their judge's question. Here we go. Let's welcome the 17 girls of Manapuram Mrs. South India 2021, everyone.
I mean, wow. You have my heart because I'm also a married woman, you know. So uh, I know how it feels to be on this platform at this particular space of your life. Anyway, all the best. It is said that beauty captures our attention and personality captures our heart. So they have our attention and we are all ears now. Let's get them one by one and it is the self-introduction time. I would love to start off by inviting contestant number one all the way from Kerala, Aishwarya Jayachandran for her self-introduction. Welcome, Aishwarya. Thank you so much. If you cannot figure out your purpose, figure out your passion, for your passion will lead you right to the purpose. Good evening, everyone. My name is Aishwarya Jayachandran, 38-year-old media professional who has an engineering degree, who has lived in Abu Dhabi for a while from God's own country, Kerala. I'm mother of two kids, 10-year-old boy and 3-year-old Shizu. And my husband is a global head. I'm passionate about classical dance, kickboxing, along with bike riding. I'm a die-hard crazy fan of superstar Palevar Rajni Khan. My achievements include being Miss Kanyakumari 2005, Mrs. Kerala Beautiful Active Personality 2019, and I'm the first South Asian influencer of Bahrain Telecom. One of her biggest dreams was breaking in the glass ceiling, and it has come true thanks to my achievements. Now, I want to conquer more, along with furthering my social cause, that is to help the young, underprivileged women with a professional calling. I do believe I have what it takes to be on the stage and wear that crown. And that's exactly why I'm here today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aishwarya. Well, you have a fellow Rajinikanth fan here as well. <laughs> Fine. Contestant number two, Diana Christopher from Kerala again. Behind every scars, there is an untold story of survival. Namaskaram Kochi. I am Diana, 27 years of age, from Fort Kochi, who is uh, passionate about art and uh, I'm married to Akhil Chako on 14th Feb 2021. Destiny has played a major role in my life. I am a uh, survivor and a fighter of a major road accident whereby I have visible scars. My second chance of life was not easy and therefore I have a very optimistic and compassionate attitude towards life and also it, it helps me to spread positivity and also helps others to keep uh, happy. Uh, my injury has made me strong, my scars make me beautiful and my journey which has struggles and sacrifices make me unique. Through this opportunity of Mrs. South India 2021, I would love to inspire all the other girls to fight and to survive. The reason I'm here is that because I know that I have a reason that I myself can fulfill. Thank you so much. All the best, Dinah. So you are an injury survivor. It is said that when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Have you heard about that? Not really. You heard it at least now, right? So all the best. This is definitely a second chance for you. That takes us to contestant number three, Dr. Hema Malini Rajnikant from Tamil Nadu. Hello. Hi, this is Dr. Hema Malini Rajnikant, a 28-year-old medical cosmetologist and a visionary entrepreneur. My personality is a mix of ambitiously motivated and elegantly inspirational. Born in a small village in Thani, studied in Tamil medium, I embrace my entrepreneurship ideology into my companies, Dr. Aesthetics International Cosmetic Clinic and FIA Academy after many struggles. Due to my medical background, I always wanted to help and improve the quality of life of the cancer survivors in terms of aesthetics and I want to implement this on a national level. Today, I'm here with a hunger to break that inferiority complex in most of the women and show the world that every body, every color, and every woman is beautiful. Thank you so much, Doctor. Number four, Kripa Dharmaraj from Tamil Nadu.
Good evening, juries, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kripa Dharmaraj, belovedly known as KD, title winner of Mrs. Tamil Nadu. Hailing from a simple middle-class working family, I rebelled to become the first-generation entrepreneur with IIM and an international fitness coach. Just like most women, when my title changed from Miss to Mrs., I lost my health with kids, work, and life. But when my father, the hero of my life, was attacked by a stroke, I was shattered. I realized the importance of self-care. I reduced 20 kgs, moved from a double XL to a small size, and rebuilt my entire lifestyle all over again. Beauty lies not only in the physical appearance, but in how one inspires many. I developed an international community for mothers from seven plus countries across the world to find their best versions of health. Marching towards Mrs. South India, I intend to be a catalyst to at least a million women to treasure their bodies and minds like precious stones and treat themselves like the queens they deserve to be. Thank you. Thank you so much, Katie. <laughs> Contestant number five, Maya Menon from Kerala. Every accomplishment, whether big or starts with just one, so one choice, I'll try. I try, I chase, I persevere, and I achieve. The story of my life. Good evening, Kochi. I'm Maya Menon, a company secretary by profession, a Zumba instructor, and a dancer by passion, and a wonder woman for my little daughter, as she fondly calls me. Winning the title of 2021, NPC Kerala Mom's Fitness Physique Pageant had made me realize that if you dare to take that one step you hesitate, the stairs of success would miraculously appear in front of you. And for me, success is not about winning or losing. It's about finding my identity, winning myself back, and ending this journey with the satisfaction that yes, I tried. And no, I don't regret. Thank you. Yes, I tried. And no, I don't regret. Great. Well, contestant number six, Nirubha Malarkodi from Tamil Nadu again. Splendid evening to the eminent jury and to the lovely audience. I'm a 30 year old. PhD research scholar and a model. Hailing from an encouraging family that supports every decision of mine, from modeling to marrying the man of my choice, I am who I am solely because of them. Being a research scholar and a model is my biggest advantage. Being a civil engineer, I balance my life building a bridge between my profession and my passion. I always have a strong perception that a dream is a picture of a possibility. My biggest dream is to be in a position of power and also to proudly represent my state and my sovereign land across the globe. With a resolute heart and a powerful mind, I'm here to transform my dreams into reality. Today, I stand here on this stage with a colossal euphoria wearing my crown of courage, battling for the crown of Mrs. South India 2021. Proudly representing Singara Chennai, Tamil Nadu, I am Niruba Metalda Malarkodi. Thank you. All the best, Niruba. May all your dreams come true. Contestant number seven, Dr. Nishantini Arun from Tamil Nadu. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Nishantini Arun, a dynamic eye surgeon from Chennai. I'm a proud mother of two children. My parents have always inspired me to add value to others' lives. And this motivated me to become the first doctor in my family. I'm a dreamer, a believer, and an achiever. Believe it or not, I had to study 18 hours per day non-stop for six months to achieve my biggest dream of studying in Ames, New Delhi. Hence, my mission of gifting vision to humanity started here by performing eye surgeries for the underprivileged. 
I want to promote eye donation and bring people from darkness to light. Don't leave a will, leave a vision. Please donate your eyes. My philosophy in life is work hard, dream big, and never give up. Thank you. Dr. Nishantini Arun from Tamil Nadu, a dreamer, a believer, and an achiever. Contestant number eight, Praveena B from Tamil Nadu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm architect Praveena, representing Tamil Nadu, runner-up Mrs. Tamil Nadu 2021. I'm a serial entrepreneur into construction, cement manufacturing, food industry, fashion designing, etc. I have an educational trust through which I educate underprivileged children. I feel marriage is not the end of dreams. It's a beginning of realization. I'm here to set an example for women those who are worried about the time management between family and business and concerned about the hurdles and difficulties towards achieving their goals and come back without achieving it. But I never give up. If you have a vision towards achieving your goal, definitely you will be able to manage your activities accordingly. As a women entrepreneur, I have received many awards. This November 27th, I'm being honored with an award, Multitasking Women in Dubai. Dream big, achieve big. Thank you. All dreamers and a lot of achievers with us. Marriage is not the end of the dreams. I go with you on that. That brings us to the final contestant for this particular slot, which is, I'm, I mean, who is uh, Rakshmi Thakur from Telangana. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and judges. World is changing in a fast pace. And challenges are becoming more and more complex. And I, Rashmi Thakur, passionately finding my place in the world of opportunities. My journey started with Pegasus in 2014 as Miss AP. And then I never looked back. I evolved as person, I traveled the world, and it made me a better, better person. I have, uh, I have won international uh, crowns, but my first crown, which is Miss AP 2014, is always a special one. I'm a mother of an infant baby. I hope she will be proud of her mother. And this is my first pageant after my baby. And thank you. Well, thank you so much, Rakshmi. And now that brings me to the center stage, and I'm going to uh, invite all of you one by one. So you know what to do, right? All the self-introduction was definitely prepared and practiced one, and you all did a decent job. But right now, this is all going to change. You're going to pick a judge randomly, and then they'll have a question for you. Be very sportive, intelligent, and from all your experiences and your confidence that you got from the grooming, you're going to answer them. Straight, loud, strong, right? All the best. Contestant number one, Aishwarya Jay Chandran from Kerala is going to pick uh, her judge. CK Kumaravil. Hello, sir. Good evening. Hi, Ashwarya. Good evening and the best wishes to all the contestants. When does a girl become a woman? A girl becomes a woman when she achieves what she wants to achieve in her life. I became a woman when I realized giving love, compassion and care to the underprivileged and to the ones who doesn't have anything is the greatest thing that anybody can do to anyone. This was the greatest lesson which I learned from my mother who told me that you're just a small girl. When you become a woman, you will understand why you are sharing, why you are caring, and why you are giving for the underprivileged one. So the moment when I started caring for those people, I realized I have grown from a girl to a woman. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashwarya. Contestant number two, Diana Christopher from Kerala. All the best, and your judge is... Hmm. 
Miss Hanna Reji. Hi, hey, Diana. Hi, good evening, ma'am. So my question for you is, what is the most important lesson that parents should teach their children? Good evening, one and all. Good evening, juries. Thank you so much for that question. I believe that parents should teach all the children how to grow, how to be big, and promote, as in grow, make their children grow better. And also, they should also teach them how the technology, technology is developed and use it in a better manner. Use it for good. Use it for their own growth and their own prospect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diana. Contestant number three, Dr. Hema Malini. Again, uh, Hannah Reggie, ma'am. Hello, doctor. Hello. So, my question for you is, what qualities should a woman possess to make a notable difference in the world? Thank you for the question. I think every woman should possess to accept themselves, to accept things. Because we are all coming from a fairy tale. We all believed in fairy tales. Our parents told stories about fairy tales. We have to come out from that and we should stop expecting from others. We have to accept whatever we get. And also, I want a woman to possess, to empower another woman. That is very important to bring a change, because I do empower women. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Contestant number four, Kripa Dharbaraj. It's again with Hannah Raji Koshi. So, hi, Katie. Hello. So, my question for you is, which is more better, a fit body or a fit mind? Thank you for the question. As an international fitness coach, the way I approach fitness itself is an overall wellness strategy. A person cannot be fit only by body when their mind is not in place. Stress can cause crazy things to your body. Similarly, if we are not going to take care of the body, it's likewise going to affect the mind mentally. So technically, it is kind of not possible to have either of it achieved, but I would say start with the mind, move on to the body, and your body is an amazing, amazing attribute which will turn back right to you and give the best results that's required. Be kind to your body, and body will reflect right back at you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Maya Menon from Kerala. Deepa Lal. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. All right, so my question to you is that if you get a chance to change two things in the rural India, what all will you change? Thank you for your question, Deepa. I feel if I get a chance to change any two things in rural area, first thing would be providing health care to those areas or to those people where the medical care is unavailable and also providing more education to rural kids where they are not able to come up and the, the access to the education is less. Thank you. 
those are the two things she would do if she get a chance. Contestant number six, Nirubha Malarkodi from Tamil Nadu. Hana Raji Koshima. It's your day. So, hi Nirupa. Hi. So, my question is, what are the qualities, according to you, that a Mrs. South India should have? Thank you for your question, ma'am. The qualities that a Mrs. South India should possess is definitely something which is very simple that any woman should possess. That is a selfless nature and a courageous attitude and a confident character. Just as rivers that do not drink the water they carry and just as trees that do not eat the fruits they bear and just as candles that do not consume the light they give it to the world, a, wo a woman should possess a nature of a selfless, true, self-confident, courageous woman. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, contestant number seven, Dr. Nishantini Arun from Tamil Nadu. Kumara Vel, sir. Yeah, good evening, doctor. Good evening, uh, sir. Yeah. If you have to break a rule, and what rule will that be? Thank you for the beautiful question. If I was given a chance to break the rule, I would give uh, everyone the opportunity to and the ability to choose what they want to do in their life without being governed by anyone. And I, uh, I will also motivate them that they should uh, take the leadership role and uh, try to empower more people and at the same time uh, I would also like uh, just to be on the funny part like uh, if I want to break a rule I would bra break the traffic rules actually when I am uh, actually when I'm in a jolly mood and when I want to go uh, after my duty or something then I would break the traffic rules. Thank you, thank you. Mr. That's a very innocent answer. Well, thank you so much, uh, doctor. Thank you. At this point of time, I just feel like asking all of you, if you are given a chance to break a, a rule, maybe I would get a little more funny answer from any one of you. Which rule would that be? Yes. Mask. Okay, that's an interesting one. Pretty tired, right, wearing this mask. We cannot even show our lipstick. And anyone else? Just to lighten the atmosphere a bit. I mean, anybody else? One rule that you would love to break? Sir, <laughs> I think you have, you have enough followers right from that side. <laughs> At a point, I felt that you are a contestant, not a judge. So if you are given an opportunity to break a rule, what would that be? The rule I'll, I'll, I'll break is uh, the religion. That's exactly my point of view as well. So, uh, let's get back to the pageant. I mean, uh, contestant number eight, Praveena B from Tamil Nadu. Now, let's see what your question is. Deepalal. Hello. Hello. You look so pretty. Thank you so much. So, what is your definition of a married woman? Yeah. Thank you for the question. A married woman means sacrificing. A married woman means caring, love, and sharing knowledge with the family and ensemble, like togetherness within the family and the society. Marriage women like to show her truth and honesty to the society 
and make others she should stand as an example for others to come in front and break the rules and face the society according to me marriage women as i say in the intro marriage is not the end of dreams it's a beginning of realization thank you married women should break all the conventional concepts of <laughs> I, mean, I was just joking. Fine. That brings us to the final contestant for this lot, Rashmi Thakur uh, from Telangana. Shivani Rai. Hi, Prakshmi. Hi. Okay, my question to you is, what is the most significant change you have seen in the world in the past 10 years? Thank you for the question. And the most significant change what I have seen past 10 years was technology development over all over the world. And the most significant change I have seen in past two years was hygiene and the level of, uh, you know, interest of people to keep up their health and, you know, also, you know, not run behind the wealth and health is also important, which the COVID has teached us. And of course, you know, sitting back home, the technology again helped people, a world to connect, just sitting back at home. So I think that's the technology is something which is a significant change from past uh, 10 years in the world. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now let me ask you, how many contestants are competing for the title? How many? 17, right? How many of them are here? Nine only. So how about the rest eight? We need to bring them as well now. So girls, ladies, let's, I mean, girls, let's all exit so that the rest of the contestants can enter and give their self-introduction and I have things to do. So uh, let's have a huge round of applause for them. Here we go and here they come.
Let's say hello to the eight of them as well. Um, it's time to come forward, speak out loud, and introduce yourself to the whole world. Ready? All the best. Contestant number 10, Ruhi Jan from Kerala. You can take the center stage. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ruhi Jan, alias Shaina Kazim. I'm a loving wife, a doubting mother, a committed person to my work, a prudent housemaker, and a cook by hobby. I'm from Ernakulam, Kerala, a godson country. My platform is styling and to make others look beautiful. I own a Miko studio in the brand name of Ruhi Jan. Don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle is the motto of my life. I'm blessed with two kids who always make me feel a proud mother. And of course, the whole hearted support of my husband. Here, I stand before you with the power of glamour and the knowledge of styling others. Before I conclude, I would love to quote the famous quote of Walt Disney. All your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. And I have that courage. Thank you, judges. Thank you so much, Ruhi. Seema Veshetti from Karnataka will be introducing herself. When I was a little girl, my father told me that when I was young, we are dependent on our father. Okay, thank you. When I was married, I'm dependent on a husband. And when I am old, I will be dependent on my son. But he never wanted me to have the same fate. Instead, be educated and independent. Unfortunately, I lost my father when I was very young. And that's when my dreams were shattered and life took a different dimension. Yallarigu Namaskara. I am advocate Seema Shetty from Bangalore. After 23 years of married life, it was my kids who gave me the courage to fulfill my unbroken dreams and... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Last but not the least, probably woman in this generation is the most difficult job. You need to act like a man, look like a lady, and work like a horse. Thank you. Act like a man, look like a lady, and work like a horse, I mean. <laughs> All right, contestant number 12, Shaiji Praveen from Kerala. Education is not the filling pot, it is the lightening of the fire. I chose to light on fire to enlighten the young minds so he or she could drive this place into your better world. Namaskaram Kochin, this is me Shaidi Praveen, a 32 year old educator representing God's own country, Kerala. Passion is a force, sometimes it's an uncontrollable force that infuses the life with meaning, joy, and even anger. That passion fire has made me stand here in the stage of Pegasus Mrs. South India 2021. In this honorable stage, I would like to thank my man who overruled the stereotypes of the society and brought gender equality into my home. I do believe that Married women can soar greater heights. Before winding up, let me conclude by saying, life is not a game of improvement. Life is a game to cherish some important moments. Thank you. Thank you, Shaiji. There is no harm in giving a round of applause once they finish their self-introduction. Come on, people. Smita Yohanan from Kerala. Uh, 
a woman is beautiful as long as she sees the beauty in others. I am Smita Yohanan, a marketing professional and a dancer by passion. I represent Kerala. Being a child who was once stuck with the poverty, I have got the confidence and courage from my education and the activities which I have involved in help me to achieve the prestigious Rashtrapati Award. And that has become the beacon of light in my life. And that's the reason I have desired to start an NGO for the poor and needy people. Yes, I personally believe that there should be at least one chance for a level playing field to exist for all those who live in the society. Thank you all. Thank you, Smita. Contestant number 14, Sneha from Karnataka. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. My name is Sneha, an IT professional hailing from Bangalore. Positivity is something that brings everything positive to you, is something that I truly believe and which is why I am today representing Karnataka standing before you in this prestigious event. Thank you. Thank you. Sunita Dabla from Andhra. And she is a contestant number 15. Life has knocked me down a few times. I experience sadness and failures, but one thing for sure, I always get up with a smile. Good evening, judges, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Davala Sunita, 35 years young woman, born in brought up in Vizag, and I am representing Andhra Pradesh. I believe if you keep your faith and you trust, I believe if you keep your trust and faith and you keep your right attitude, God will open a new door for you. Pegasus Mrs. South India is a door for my dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much. Contest number 16, Susan Sarni from Kerala. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was knit together. All the days ordained for me were written in your books before one of them came to be. And today marks one of the beautiful days in my life. I, for the second, take this platform to mourn the loss of my junior friend, Miss Ansi Kabir, who was crowned Miss South India 2021. Good evening, judges and to all. I, Susan Sunny, 43 years, psychologist and educationalist by profession. A woman, according to my zodiac, is extremely capable of wearing multiple hats, and I've been honored to wear a few from the professional to motherhood to a sports personality and to carry a balanced smile all throughout the life. And the other hat I aim is for the pageant crown because I believe in confidence in the, no matter your job, your position or your appearance. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Susan. That brings us to the last and final contestant of the pageant. Contestant number 17, Dr. S.K. Thivya from Tamil Nadu. A very beautiful evening to the juries and everyone here. This is Dr. Thivya. I'm a dental surgeon and clinical cosmetologist all the way from Avinashi, Tamil Nadu. I am married for six years and I'm a mother of two kids. I am so fortunate enough to have my husband he has always been my strength and my support system. I'm a passionate woman 
who is quite focused and persistent on our goals and dreams. Also, I'm an empowered woman with grace and vision, but sometimes I feel that I got stuck in my daily routine and comfortness of life after marriage and kids, which has made me to realize that if you are a responsible person and are an important link for a group survival, and if you do not take care of yourself, after a while, you will be of no use to anyone else either. Even your best intentions and dreams will mean nothing and you will be unable to do what you're meant to do. Also, it doesn't matter how many goals or dreams you have. What matters is the level of action you take towards it. So, I'm here venturing my way towards my passion, the passion of defining me. And this Pegasus event which celebrates the feeling of being a woman is the right place to pour my heart out. Also, I got my first recognition in Mrs. Tamil Nadu 2021 Pegasus event, which has led me to this mesmerizing grand Mrs. South India 2021. And it's been an honor to be among such accomplished people. Also, I am proud enough to represent my state, Tamil Nadu. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. So that brings me back to the center stage. Well, uh, so you are sorry. <laughs> you are going to undergo a very dotting Q and A session. So I want all of you to breathe in, breathe out, relax. You have no idea what question is going to come your way, but be very sure about your answers. Ready? All set. Contestant number ten, Ruhi Jan from Kerala. Yeah. You can pick one random and have the mic. Deepa, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Hi, Rohi. So my question to you is that, has the speed of technological advances taken away emotions? Do you want me to repeat the question? No, ma'am. I'm okay. okay. Thank you so much for your question, ma'am. Uh, it has a positive side and a negative side also. I will say about the positive. Technology, it helps us faster and efficient way to communicate with people. And negative side, I must, I must say that it harms the ability of a people to communicate face to face each other. That's what. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ruhi. I think anything beyond what we need is poison. So maybe technology or whatever it is. Coming to contestant number 11, Seema Vishati from Karnataka. <coughs> Shivani Rai. Hi, Seema. Hi, ma'am. My question to you is, what would you say to someone that says pageantry degrades women? Can you repeat yeah, the question? Sure. What would you say to someone who says pageantry degrades women? Yeah. Thank you for the question, ma'am. I believe pageantry uh, is a very good thing since after marriage, right now, I'm standing here and proving to my society that when I can do, you also can do, and it is no harm in doing anything wrong in this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Seema. Shaji Praveen, contestant number 12. C.K. Kumaravil, sir. What, according to you, is an ideal man? Thank you for the question, sir. According to me, an ideal man is the one who empowers his woman, who supports his woman, and her one who motivates his woman. So an ideal man, for me, is one who stands with a woman. Thank you. 
who stands for the women. Thank you so much, Shaiji. Smita Yohanan from Kerala. Shirani Rai. Shivani Rai. Hi, Smita. Hi, ma'am. How are you feeling? Good. And how about you, ma'am? Yeah, same. OK, my question to you is, 45 seconds is granted to you. OK. Convey us why we should crown you as the winner. Thank you, ma'am, for this question. I do have a lot of uh, goals. If I, wish I crown a Mrs. South India title, first of all, I have to extend all my activities. There are so many activities I'm doing, especially uh, my dance activities, the events, and uh, marketing activities and uh, one of my important and allowed thing is social service and uh, i'm a person who is visiting um, um, old age homes charitable trust and all uh, so in every week so i i'm, I'm a person who is contacting uh, events, dances, programs, and all to in, uh, entertain them and uh, support them financially also. I need a lot of people also to come into the similar field. As a single person, I can do limitedly only. Though my friends and uh, families, uh, families so there are so many, uh, many families supports me, I need more people to come in front of the such kind of activities like uh, social service. Thank you. Thank you so much, Smita. Sneha from Karnataka. C.K. Kumarvail, sir. How do you handle disappointment? Say, suppose the, you are not going to be crowned today evening. How will you handle that? Thank you for the question, sir. Um, yes, I, I will surely be disappointed, but this is not going to stop me from exploring myself. And this is not going to stop me from, um, you know, uh, e exploring the world outside. I will uh, surely look into the negatives that why I have, um, you know, lost today and surely try to work on it and, you know, uh, get the better self of mine. Thank you. Yes, it's not about winning or losing, but it's just about giving it a try. Contestant number... Sunita Dhabla from Andhra. Deepalal, ma'am. Hi. Hi, ma'am. What is your idea of being successful? Ma'am, success is unlimited uh, journey, ma'am. Being success can be defined for uh, person to person. For me is when I train uh, two people, uh, my services, like my, I'm a makeup artist, when I see two people, I think like I'm doing wonder. That's I think so, thank you. Thank you. Contestant number 16, Susan Sunny from Kerala. Uh, CK Kumarwell. If you get a chance to speak to the world leaders, what social issue will you speak about? Thank you for the question. 
since I have been traveling around the world, I have been, I have been witnessing a lot of um, good and bad of uh, what's happening across. But uh, I love India, uh, so I'm. I think I would talk to the the leaders of the country to improvise on our health system by giving uh, uh, like health insurance to all families, especially the middle class family. Everybody talks about underprivileged. I would support for the middle class community because nobody knows their pain. They are the one who really suffers. So I would specifically being us, I call this two, I would utilize this platform or utilize my power to enhance health and and for sure, education, education, not the books, but an applied kind of learning. So to promote a true self of you. Thank you. I think that's a very good answer. Everybody concentrate on underprivileged people while she was talking about middle class people, which is very good. And contestant number 17, Dr. S.K. Thivya from Tamil Nadu brings us to the end of this particular round. You just have got one card to pick up. Shivani Rai, ma'am. Hi, doctor. Hello, ma'am. My question to you is, if a fellow contestant does not follow the pageant rules, would you speak up? Do you want me to repeat the question? No, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Um, definitely, I would speak up because Pegasus is all about discipline and following the rules. I believe this platform provides us to showcase our talents and it celebrates the womenhood. And I believe when you become a successful person, you have to be disciplined enough and also you should follow the rules to improve yourself. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. That was lovely, ladies. One huge round of applause for these 17 contestants of Mara Promise South India. Come on, people, everybody together, louder, please. Well, now you can relax. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Go to the backstage and have a quick discussion and maybe get ready for the next exposure. The next time I see you, I'll have the results and I'll be announcing the seven contestants who made it to the grand finale. So that's it from this particular round. And now... Apna gold Manapuram locker. Everyone is like this. Smart. Bano. Kahi kidar bhi smart. Ban Manapuram online gold loan smart. Hai. <laughs>